and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 140 to the Folks, folks, I apologize if it sounds like I'm behind the camera. I apologize if I sound far away. I may have the camera pointed the right way. I have my lights turned off, and and right after I'm done making this video, I'm going to have some time talking to the Lord alone. Romans 10 says, says, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Lord's word. Malachi 3 says, the Lord does not change. Hebrews 11 says, Without faith it is impossible to please the Lord. So folks, listen to me. I was just watching a live sermon from Pastor Benny Hinn. He was talking about how much, how much having time alone with the Lord will help us have power and and better days well right before i made this video the lord said turn everything off and talk to me well well right after i'm done with this video that's what i'm gonna do folks Folks, like I said, Hebrews 11 says, Without faith we cannot please the Lord. Romans 10, Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Lord's word. Malachi 3 says, He does not change. Listen to me. Matthew chapters 6 and 7 with, 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 John 14, those are three of the most important passages there ever is about prayer. Most importantly, Matthew 6, because it says, If we do not forgive those that have sinned against us, we will not be forgiven. But if we do forgive them, we will be forgiven. Folks, folks, I suggest that whenever you're watching your favorite show, from now on, I suggest that during those times that you ask the Lord to take away your stupidity. Ask Him to give you the desire to pray to not be stupid enough to waste your time with things that do not involve getting closer to the Lord because we are getting very, very near the end times. I suggest from now on, during your favorite TV show, that you ask the Lord to take away your desire to watch TV or listen to music or play games or, or do anything else. And also during that same prayer, I suggest that you ask the Lord to give you the desire to spend time with Him. Pardon me if I burp. There is a passage in the book of Revelation that says, Because the church was not hot nor cold, he will spew them out of his mouth. So we need to spend time alone with the Lord with our devices turned off right after we ask him to set our heart on fire with him. We need to spend time with the Lord with all of our, our devices turned off. But first, 
But first, we need to ask the Lord to set our hearts on fire for Him. I really do hope this video helps you. If it does, I, if it does, pardon me, folks. I hear my brother walking up stairs, and that and that distracted me. If that does help you, if this video does help you. I would like to know, but never thank me. Ye ask, and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do ye ask, adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Ye ask, and receive ye lust, and have not. Ye kill, and from whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence even of your lusts that war in your members? Ye lust, and have not. Ye kill, and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask, and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain, The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded, be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that